I've forgiven, but I don't want to interact. Am I justified? Yes, you are. It's okay. Don't worry. Have you seen the difference now between the two? There are people, I'm sure, in your lives, you must be nodding your heads. You've got a little picture, a cartoon popping up at the top there, boom, with a face. That's the woman, you know, that's the guy, right? Toxic, which means I, I don't want. But I've forgiven, I've let it go. I'm not holding it against them. Oh, and you make dua for them without them knowing, oh Allah, grant them, oh Allah, bless them, oh Allah, give them more goodness. Why? Why? That's tough, right? Because when you pray for the goodness of someone else, the angels are asking Allah to give you the same, if not more. And to get the dua of the angel, you're going to have to just pray for someone else. You follow what I'm saying? And the dua of the angel is more righteous than yours. It requires a big heart. Oh Allah, bless them, give them. I remember one guy was told, that you know what, if you are going to make dua for this enemy of yours, when you make dua for yourself, we're going to give your enemy double. Did you hear that? When you make dua for yourself, we're going to give your enemy double. So he says, okay, I'd like a mountain of gold. So he got a mountain, his enemy got two mountains. Ah, he's upset. You've got your mountain, you asked for it. So what, if we give the other guy or don't give the other guy, it's irrelevant. He asked for a beautiful castle and the enemy got two of those castles whoa whoa then he says okay do me a favor scare me half to death okay what did he want subhanallah he wanted these that body to get scared all the way to death may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us allah forgive us but this is the nature of man we cannot see someone flourish when what we have is enough for us it's more than enough for us I, I want to raise one thing that Ramadan should bring about. We are supposed to be reaching out to the poor. The wealthier we get, the more miserly we tend to become. And there are exceptions to that. There are definitely exceptions. But when you have a business, for example, and it's a huge business, you lose sleep over a tuck shop that is opened across the road selling something similar to you. You lose sleep. But you're a multi-million dollar company, multi-million dollar store. And you're worried about a small tuck shop that is across the road and you're losing sleep over it. The millions you've made, you're never ever going to use them in your life. And your generations will probably be killing each other because they want your money, not even theirs. And you know what? You're worried about a guy who's trying to earn something halal. So what? Where is your iman gone? In this month of giving, learn to give and be happy when someone else has started up something similar to what you have started. Because sustenance comes from Allah. I learned this in some of the Middle Eastern countries when I was in Medina and we walked into the stalls and so on. When you go to buy abayas, the whole lot of shops are abaya shops. It makes it easy. They're not upset. I have one. You're not allowed to have anyone else here. I'm the only person here. They say, no, it's fine. I recall a story of a person I used to go and sit with a times and he found something that one of the customers wanted and then he says my sister do me a favor the shop down there has had no customers today can you please go and buy the same thing from that person and then he phones the brother he says Abu Suleiman you know what uh, I'm just sending a customer there just barakana you know so that you can open your day I see no customers have come to you today would you do that nah bro must buy from me Where's your iman gone? I rather have one less commodity sold and have be filled with blessing and get a dua that is made for me by the angels than to go out and try and grab someone else's, you know, opportunity. May Allah protect us. That's the greed that man has. Ramadan is here to clean your greed. You're supposed to be cleaning the greed. You follow what I'm saying? Clear it up.